There was a giant oak tree crushing the house, crushing the house, crushing the car, and you could tell that somebody had been in there. And I said to him, Lord, please don't let me die. I don't want to die. Nobody found me that night. And the next day, firemen was coming around in the back of the yards and looking for lights and stuff and said, is anybody in there? Two tornadoes come through. One right after the other. It looks like a bomb went off. It looks like a movie, you know? It doesn't seem real at all. If we can take care of them here, then that means that the patients that really need to go to the, the emergency room into the hospital go. Coming in, we didn't know what to expect. We didn't know how bad it was going to be. Didn't know when the last time any of the patients had been seen by a doctor or anything. When I came up here, you know, I asked her what the problem was. Right away, she started helping. You know, that, that's what it's all about. Listening and, and seeing that there's not only need here in the mobile, there's also a lot of need in the shelter. We got the extra step to go there, say, hey, how we can help? What else we can do for you guys? Mentioned it to the nurse that I'd like to have somebody look at this and possibly get rid of these staples. His doctor's appointment was actually to get the staples removed was the Wednesday that the hurricane hit. She had everything hooked up within a couple hours. They have done so much for us. They went out of the way. It's taking care of one, one patient at a time, and when we take care of patients, we're taking care of them, at, especially in a disaster, if they're most vulnerable. And to be able to, to show that through the lens of compassion and relationships, that really says what we are at United Health Group.